Have you heard of this guy called Michael Jackson? Apparently, one of the greatest, greatest basketball players of all time. That's why they called him MJ. And he sang a song called Black or White. Ironically, this dude also turned from black to white. It's like, how did, how did he know? He's like a mind magician, right? <laughs> why, why are you laughing? Well, apparently this Michael Jackson fellow should have done a sequel called White or Black because uh, there is a woman who has done exactly that. Not only her skin color, but her whole race. She went from white to black. Hi, I'm 16 Leo, and we are back with another episode of Bro, Why? So we were watching YouTube, we saw this girl who was on a show called Hooked on the Look. Instantly, I was like, wow, I just haven't really seen someone who was white and was like, mm, I like being harassed by the cops. Like, today I wanted to just take a look at that video. I've only watched this much, so most of this is going in blind. <laughs> most of the people watching this are big babies. big babies. But if you're not and want to become a big baby, all you have to do is hit subscribe and I'll smack you on the ass. <laughs> I'm joking, I would never do that. Also, while you have time, follow me on Instagram at 16 Leo underscore, and that way you can see pictures of my face. Thank you. All right, let's go. There are still some people say you will never be black. Salute. I like the contrast between uh, uh, light, um, purely, and black. Martina Big is no stranger to a spot of controversial body modification. Maybe I missed over the fact she had two fun bags. What the hell? Those are so big. Bro, if she gets in a car, her airbags feel protected. This is unbelievable. Two watermelons. Ah, how do you walk around with that? Her back must be like broken constantly, Jesus. My first body modification procedures started in uh, spring 2012. I had a rhinoplasty. She really goes high with us. I, the sound guy must be having that hardest day of his life. Spring 2012, okay. I oh, had a God. rhinoplasty. Oh. I want to create a extreme version of Barbie. And in the past it was a blonde Barbie with white skin, but now it is a extreme exotic Barbie. But it was her latest tanning injections that acted as the catalyst for her most dramatic change to date. <laughs> Look at that! What the f***? Oh! How do you make Akon look light skin? What? I I come from Africa. There is nobody who looks like that. That looks like some really really bad 1930s cartoon. Is what that looks like. Started. I only want to have more sun color, also like holiday color. <laughs> Where did you go for holiday, Martina? The sun? Why do you look like you got scorched? The doctor did three injections in January last year. This looks like an unlockable character in Mortal Kombat, is what this looks like. <laughs> That's what it is. Gosh. But not only my skin color changed, also my eyebrow color changed, my eye color self changed, my regrowing hair got darker, and also now you can see it's growing curly, like the African girls. You telling me she got waves from three injections? I don't believe that. The, what, the only thing that didn't change is the way you talk. I was half expecting you to come out like, yo, what it is, my name Martina. I'm from Crenshaw. Shit, I'm right here. Yeah, yo, West Said. How stereotypical do you want to get, Martina? Ah, but that's the thing. She's not even trying to be African-American. She's trying to be African-African. Like the... Hey, hey, hey. She's trying to be like that. I'm just saying, you gotta, you gotta do a little more than look the pot, girl. I think I'm changing my race. Yes, you heard right. Martina Big has not just changed her skin tone. She's also now apparently changing her race. Touche. Well done, actually. Didn't think she was actually going to take me up on that and go to Africa and live amongst the tribal people. Okay. I, I can admit when I'm wrong. Damn. Good one, Martina. I feel that I'm black. Describe myself as African woman. Proud African woman. Together, I'm just carrying the water to the, to the village. 
She's in Africa carrying water now. How did she even find this tribe? Where, where do you Google? Do the tribes have websites now? Did they come visit our tribe? Where? How did she find this place? Did she just parachute from Africa? Because I don't think she could parachute with those boobs. Just for the record, people from Africa, I can almost guarantee wouldn't care if they saw her. Pretty sure she'd be accepted easily if she wants to. This is no problem. It just looks weird. Since her latest transformation, Martina has been on a voyage of discovery to immerse herself into her new and adopted African culture. Tell me this doesn't look like a Sims character. Like they randomized the sh They went from the scale of so white that you look like a ghost to so black you look like literally someone's shadow. <sighs> This looks like a cutscene from, from Saints Row or something. Unbelievable. Martina's boyfriend Michael has been a constant source of support and encouragement. I was so fascinated and uh, then Martina was uh, the classic blonde, uh, beautiful Barbie. This is Michael and right now he looks like Uncle Full, rest in peace. Hey man, he loves her and it's kind of cute honestly that this man loves her despite her changing her skin color and pretty much her race. It's, it shows how much he loves her for the inside and her big boobs, apparently. One of Martina's latest fans is Carol. Hi. Oh. I saw her on Facebook, how she's now black, and then I was much interested. I would like to ask her why, what made her to change the, the color to be black? Because it's, it's not normal for a white person to change the color. Martina pulled the biggest reverse card. That's amazing. Normally, white people, they go to Africa, they study the people, they study this, that. You have to be pretty damn hectic for a person from Africa to be like, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, it's it, like mine. Yeah, it changes. Yeah. Yeah. So not only the skin. So to the left, we have a black woman. To the right, we have some abomination that has mutated into a dark-skinned German <laughs> I can't hate on this woman. I can't. This is a weird situation. I don't really like cancel culture, personally. And normally, people get offended for other people. But here we have a woman who's being literally accepted by the people she wants to be with. She just finessed the game. She became so stereotypical that even the race she was trying to be is like, come here. Come, I know you're trying. Come here. Can you imagine her traveling from any country and like giving them her passport and they look at it and they're like... I... Can someone get the manager? I don't... Am I, am I colorblind? I don't know. She could have been the greatest criminal ever. She could commit a crime uh, the last day she was white before she turned into this and people would never know. They put up wanted posters. They'd be like, have you seen this white woman? Huge boobs. People would be like, no, but I've seen a black woman, same size boobs, but it's, it doesn't look like the same person. They have the same voice though, same name, same boyfriend, but, she, but that one's black. So you're very stupid, you know that? A lot of people say you can't never be black. You're really open hearted and concentrate yourself. Not only the look that change, also the, the inner heart. Black is beautiful. By her own account, all she wants to do is be black because it's beautiful. Nothing wrong with that. I, I agree. But let's hear from her doctors. I'm Martina Vick and I'm back again and now I'm black. Last time I met Doc. Every time I see those comparison pictures, I just... Oh yeah, yeah. This looks like top deck, but it's one woman. She looks like she has a face full of suit and it just never came off. Such a heavy transformation. You couldn't just ease me into that. You went from like one of the whitest people you knew to Flavor Flav. In Germany, I was at the consolation for a butt implant. Uh, we uh, came off topic about tanning and for a long time I wished me tanned skin. And the doctor gave me three injections in my belly. The medicine started getting me tanned from the first weeks. Every two weeks I had to change my makeup because much darker. And in the course of time, wow, it's so fascinating. You know what could have stopped this from happening? If she had just one person of color as a friend, just just a black friend, Hispanic friend, an Indian friend, anything. You, you know what? I'm thinking of being black and her friend would be like, hmm, let me think about that. No, no, 
And she'd be like, why? And you'd be like, cuz nobody wanna see that. I bought a wig, black curlies. No, she looks like if weird Al Yankovic had one of the worst ideas in his career. I don't want to choke, I love the black skin and the black features. And so we have to go for lip injections very often to keep up my African style. No, she didn't just say that. She, she said, I got lip injections to keep up the African style. This is not a style. Not all black people have big lips, man. Oh, God. What has she been watching that made her do this? <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> Can you handle this? Hold on. Did you really? Are you? This is real? This is real. There's actually yes, one so oil. You inject it. It stimulates MSH, melanocyte yeah. stimulating hormone to increase melanin production from melanocytes. These drugs are very dangerous. Have you had any side effects? No. Nope. Side effects? No. But I love Snoop Dogg now. Side effects? Hell no. But if I needed to go to a doctor, it would be Dre. Sometimes I say she it instead of shit. Is that, is that a she? I'm sorry, it just comes out every now and again. I'm sorry, my bad. This is the most stereotypical thing I've ever seen. She saw something somewhere and she stereotyped the hell out of it to get this character that she's she's now becoming. But I want to go again because I like it. She said she wants to go again. She wants to be darker than this. How dark could you possibly be, actually? What happens when you get so dark? Like, you know, it's just like eyes. The only thing you see is like eyes. So whenever she's asleep, it's like she's not there. Oh, can you imagine pulling her down and the windows are tinted in your car? Do you know how freaked out the cop would be? Excuse me, ma'am, roll down your windows, please. And she rolls it down and the guy's like, what the fuck? Where is she? And she's been there the whole time. She's that dark that the tint and her are the same color. It's like a comedy gold mine. I don't... So do you plan on staying this color? Do you yeah. like this? You want to yeah. be this way for the rest of your life? Yeah, that's why I'm here for changing my nose. A little bit wider, a little bit like this, but this is too much. My nose is um, not really matching to my African look. My nose should be look like this African style. <sighs> Albeit unintentional, that is one of the most things I've heard. No, African people don't all have this. It's, that's not true at all. <laughs> Come on. I mean, this woman wants to blend in with the crowd, which is fine, but she's forgetting that she has two airbags in the front of her chest and she wants to make them bigger. And I know a word that rhymes with bigger that she still can't say because she's not really black. Are you guys married? No, we are still preparing. Do you guys plan on having children? <laughs> a lot of people ask Because us. the people are talking, will the children white or black and... <laughs> <laughs> Martina, Michael, let me tell you something. No matter what color your skin is right now, your DNA, your chromosomes are not dark. That was one of the most profound things you could ever hear a doctor say, especially on Botched. And he didn't even mean it like that. He was like, no matter what, your DNA, our DNA, it's all the same. But your kids are gonna think you are weird. Have you ever seen a kid adopt black parents? No, bitch. Realize, I'm Mr. Dr. Botched. Watch me on TV every, whenever the hell I'm on TV. Yeah. yeah. We'll examine your skin, we'll examine your nose, and we'll go from there. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. So all of these moles, Michael, they've gotten darker? So Michael actually also had the injections. I'm trying not to make a joke about his rotund size, but I genuinely think that the injections didn't get as far because there's more of him to cover. Maybe that's why he's not as dark. Yes. Okay, so they did become darker. Damn, dude is black. <laughs> Bro, it just didn't reach his face. The uh, It's black from the face down, except <laughs> one appendage. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. Let me just take a quick peek. Septum is straight. This dude's just shirtless while they're doing this. He's just gonna stand there shirtless. Ho <laughs> ho, she is a very cute lady. And I like black people and it's a black beauty. Damn, bro. Yeah, you all got gems in this country, what the f Sorry about that, I'm sorry. And let me get back to your black wife. What's interesting is you did have an over- <laughs> Cause they don't give him a shirt. It kind of takes away from this whole scene. You got this- <laughs> His nipples are like frowning. They just... <laughs> Your wife got some boobs done, did you? W wow. Listen, ma'am, you have a DB... DB... 
Yo, Michael, why don't you put a shirt on? But now I wanted to see what the news outlets have to say. Do you think I'm even close to savage? These people are savage. Most of them are like British, so. Why do you want to be so brown, Martina? For a long time, I want to have a crispy, brown, tended holiday skin. Yeah. How, how pale is your, your natural skin? I think we've, we've got a picture here. Let's, let's have a look at, uh, at Martina before and after here. But do you not like that? Do you not like that, girl? Yeah, I like it, but I love to tune my body. So, so what, you think you've got better looking? Yeah. She's doing what she likes. That's a really underrated thing in this day and age. It is really underrated to be like, yo, I want to be black and have the biggest boobs ever, and just do it. You know that people are going to come out and say stuff. You're just like, nah. Also, my boyfriend is also black. He's actually trying to be like Uncle Phil. I got to give it to him, man. That's an underrated aspect of her game. What size is your bust now? This was 32D. Yeah. Now I have 20Ds behind, also 32. 22 Ds or a super size? Also super S. size. Yes. I say in British size is 32 S. Uh, in British size it's called, my golly gosh, what big knockers you have. <laughs> hey, uncomfortable. Can, you, can we stand uh, up? Right. And you can balance there, okay? Everything, yeah. right? Uh, yes, also. Oh. Okay, well, high heels if, on. if you're going to tip yeah. over, just hold on to me, okay? Um, are, right. they, are they implants? Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, <laughs> Oh, you're gonna make me... This dude just be staring at a booze on national television. You know how they say keep your eyes on the ball? He did it. This whole segment, he's like... My wife's got A's. All right, I busted a nut. <sighs> you think you look more beautiful, yeah? Mm? Do you think the general public thinks you look more beautiful? It's split it. Does she care what the general public thinks? Does she need to? My guess is no, because she's not really hurting anyone. I really don't think she's actually trying to offend anybody's culture. Unconventional to say the least, but she's making a conservative effort to actually learn about culture, especially, you know, African culture, food, customs, traditions. She's also not using it to get fame. She just happens to have people looking at her like, wow. This is oddly a triumphant story somehow. And how, how beautiful do you think Martina is? I like Martina's look very much. And how, how beautiful do you think Martina is? Yo, that's how they used to look, bro. That's love, when you can literally change your race for a woman. Find you a man that changes his race for you. <laughs> He, he stuck with her through everything, and she stuck with him because this man has quadruple doubled in size. My God. I mean, you know, he's still a very beautiful, lovely guy, but they're like, fuck what's on the outside. They just want to be how they are. They love each other for the inside. You got to love it. I'm, I'm rooting for these two people. We just want to tell people that Martine is white, um, just mm. in case you th you're looking at a black person. She is white. <laughs> <laughs> we just want to tell you that Martina is white. Just in case you're thinking she's not, she's white. There's no black person who's looking at this like, is she? No. Controversial aspect here because, you know, we interview people all the time who want to change their appearance, people who see their... Yeah, she looks like she's cosplaying as Oprah. Oh my God, just tell her to stop. Hey, Martina, have you ever seen the movie Get Out? <sighs> Which one did you identify as? Both? <laughs> so after 10 years and several cosmetic surgeries, Martina transformed her looks into this. <laughs> Six months ago, Martina made worldwide headlines. <laughs> Look at this dude. He, he doesn't even know what's going to happen next. His mouth is... He's like... Just wait till Maury tells him that she's also black. Martina now considers herself a black woman. Oh! Here's her score. Her score. Her score. <laughs> there we go. This guy's like, oh shit. Welcome, Martina Big. Martina. <laughs> I love this crowd, man. This is what Maury does every time. He brings out someone so outlandish.
the black and white people in the crowd unite to hate on whoever the hell he brings out. I love it. This January, also in middle of January, I got three injections in the belly, and after the first week, you can see going darker, darker, and darker. But this dude's mouth is still open. He hasn't closed it the whole time. This dude got locked jaw open. After the show, they're gonna interview him. He'll be like, I like, I like, I like. Do you think you're a black person? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you just set her up for that one. You knew the crowd was gonna be like, oh, you knew that shit. I don't want to attack them. Um, it's not my attention to attack somebody, okay. and it's not a it's not a media um, attention stuff. Right. It's um, I feel it for myself. I do it for myself. I only um, talk to people who want to talk with me about it. You know, as fun as this crowd is, that last thing, as fun as it is to have people go oh and stuff, there's a very much a big underlying issue with that. It's that at the end of this whole thing, she explained her intention was never to hurt anybody. And believe it or not, Martina Big also changed her name. Her name is now Malika Kub Kubwa. That, no, that's her name. I went to her YouTube channel. That's, that's her name. She changed it. This lady is really living the part. She's not trying to be African-American or bring down the African-American experience. She's talking about African Africa, baby. Uh, and that is a whole different experience. And as you can see, the people from Africa are more than accepting of her. Maybe she didn't mean to be a scapegoat for this whole 2020 cancel culture. She's a prime example of other people being offended over her when the people she's really trying to be with are quite accepting. She's got a loving husband who literally changed his race for her. She went to the motherland to learn about the culture and nobody down there is judging her. So. Maybe we shouldn't either. And this was another episode of Bro, Why? Uh, thank you so much for watching the video till the end. I really do appreciate it. I will be back very soon with another episode. Until then, me and Fluffs are out. This is 16 Leo signing out telling you to get some fake boobs and a tan. But don't come crying to me when people say, oh, we found the newest alien. <laughs> <laughs>